We got our hats on, you know what that means. It's a port day. It's our first time here, Mahogany Bay, Honduras. We got just kind of a relaxing day plan today. Um, we rented a couple of clamshells on the beach. Amanda and I are looking forward to maybe some snorkeling, but to get to the beach, our little excursion included like a sky lift ride. It's going to be a beautiful day out there right now. It's really humid, but we're about to go to the beach, so. Yeah. No complaints here. Go explore another country that we've never been to. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, we're gonna go snack some breakfast and then we'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, cheesy goodness. So right now we're trying to figure out where our uh, excursion uh, passes are. Uh, we have to go find an orange booth somewhere at the end of the port. A magical flying beach chair booth, so I'm assuming this is where we need to go. Smart Tim and Bridget. Hi. See you guys on the ground. <laughs> what do you think of Roatown so far? It is very hot. Very green here. It's very pretty. Um, we're, I mean, we really haven't seen much, but hopefully with this chairlift view, we might. It's super early in the morning still. I, I don't think it's nine o'clock even yet in the morning. Here, no, it's only quarter to eight. <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. They are a- An hour. Yep, they're an hour uh, behind uh, ship, ship time. time. But, wow, So keep that, nice. keep that in mind for sure. <laughs> When you go to ports, like, make sure you have an idea of what the ship time is because you snooze, you lose, and you don't want to be running. You don't want to be a pier runner. Right. So we booked the Relax on a Beach package. It was $70, and it's for two people. So one person just needs to purchase it, and then you just show up with the other person. And that includes the chairlift ride, I believe, unlimited times back and forth. Um, and a clamshell, and I guess some snorkeling gear, Tim said. Welcome to Roatan. I think we were in Belize. Good morning. My name is Caesar. Hi, I'm Caesar. Your beach attendant. Yes. Not his first rodeo. <laughs> so, included with the price of your relax at the beach pack, did you get these floats? They're pretty cool. Ooh. They do look pretty nice. And maybe Tim and I don't have to blow up the hammocks for you guys. Uh, you're that getting out be, of it. That might be good for snorkeling, those we can lay in it. I say, those are for a different kind of you know, relaxation. Hmm. You're not getting out of it. So right as we we came into the beach here and we're in the second row, we've got clamshells right under a lot of shade. And we're gonna head back and see what's all available here. This is called the Hurricane Hole. Huh. Today's special Caribbean jerk chicken. That is, that is all I've seen on the menus since we've got here. Oh, visit the internet kiosk in the shopping plaza. You can get it right off your phone too, I think. The sand, it's a little more coarse. Yeah, this is no half moon key, but it's solid. It's laid out nice, I feel like, so far. Yeah. Well, There's definitely plenty of room for everybody. Got a restroom over here. Oh, hey, you can rent some cabanas. For more information, ask her. El Hadaway. It is kind of hidden. Water mode activated. Whoa. Whoa. Oh Christ, it's a little man that's carrying the floating devices. Just got in the water a little bit ago and we're right next to where you get off on the chairlifts. It's like right next to us. 
and it's a bit of a drop off it's pretty steep so um, I had to go back and get my float because there's no way I was standing I mean Jeff's standing flat foot right now and it's almost to his shoulders so just be warned about that if you have kids and stuff maybe life jacket wouldn't be a bad idea I get why everybody has a floaty out here now but it's it's beautiful temperature water it's a little foggy but it's pretty our server Carlitos just brought us over some margaritas and what did you get Bridgie? I got a uh, strawberry colada. <laughs> right on. It is very very toasty so we're looking forward to these. Oh and what else did your server bring you Bridgie? Well we got these cool little bottles and then this girl is ready to party. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Carlitos. <laughs> oh do I know those two over there? <laughs> Steep drop off. Oh yeah. Steep drop off. <laughs> preparing to fall. The water feels good, right guys? It does. It, it, it does feels feel good. good. It's murky, but it's not freezing, so it's enjoyable. <laughs> very happy we got the water shoes on right now. Yes. Very happy <laughs> There's we got something the very sludgy mat. under my feet right now. Uh, <laughs> I mean, and I can't see what it is, so it's even more upsetting. <laughs> it's a nice free beach. Isn't yeah. I mean, yeah. We only paid for the clam show and stuff. You don't have to pay for that stuff. No. Yeah, uh, and we didn't really even spend that much, right? Yeah. It was Thirty-five for two person, people. So. Yeah. Was it seventy? Yeah. All together? Yeah. But well, it comes with people... comes with the float, comes with the clam shell, yeah. comes no, with. I think, yeah. The, we just uh, didn't want to make the same mistake as we did in Half Moon by knocking in a clam shell. Yeah. We spent all day at the beach. And we were. Yeah. We were all fried. Fried after like two hours. Uh, uh, fried. It's a different sun down here. So you guys got some uh, some hacks here, some water mode hacks. Um, these like lounger raft things. Yeah. Oh, how much can you pick one up and pick it out of the water real quick? Uh, um, I'll drown if I pick it up. We'll post a picture later in the description below. <laughs> so you guys got the inflatable little water hammock things yeah. that you can pack. They, they get really, really small. Yeah. They're really cheap on Amazon and anywhere else. You um, can't use them on the, in the ship pool, but every port you go to, you can use them. Yeah. Very nice. Or you can splurge on the Mahogany Bay floats. These are actually pretty solid, but they're, they're much harder to sit on. Um, and I think they're $10 to order from the stand. Uh, for use for the day but we got two of them with our package we got the green wristbands it's a good water table it is a great table for putting your drinks on <laughs> yeah i saw somebody's got a bucket of drinks over there oh, having having yeah. the floaties are very very nice just because of how deep it gets especially right off the bat right when well, you, get and you can't see that it's going to drop off right so like yeah, yeah we didn't know we were oh there's a lot of holes, just random pits and holes in the water. So my recommendation if you're coming to Mahogany Bay, it's an easy free day if you plan it accordingly. Getting here, you instead of using the chairlifts or buying the package like we did that included the chairlift, free trail that you can walk right to. Um, first come, first serve chairs. Also go back on the ship and get lunch. You would have enough time to come back. It probably only take you about an hour and a half to get there and get some lunch and get back. So, um, also, we should have done this hack that we saw True North Do South do, which is get some pizza, put it in a bag, and bring it on the beach with you. So we could have had a free snack. Let me give you the grand total of our lunch for today. $120 for three drinks, fries, a quesadilla, and nachos. Yeah, the uh, the food was quite a disappointment. Uh, the nachos I got was just canned cheese and unseasoned beef. And the quesadilla that was supposed to be a cheese quesadilla was a chicken quesadilla. Which honestly wasn't terrible, but I don't know. We could have had like guys burgers or something instead. And then the fries were just fries. So I think Amanda and I are going to do some more swimming here. Uh, enjoy the rest of my beverage I got and then we'll go dry off and get back on the ship and probably get ready for dinner and a couple shows tonight. So we'll probably catch you with Tim and Bridget later when we get dinner and a drink. See you then. Bye.
as far as like touristy stuff goes, it's pretty reasonable. I got a t-shirt and two magnets for like $18 and normally it's just a t-shirt alone it's going to cost you 20 30 bucks. So get it Honduras. Good deals. Yeah. We just got back from a beautiful beach day at Mahogany Bay. It was a really nice day, it was really sunny out, and I really enjoyed it. They also give you, as a souvenir, their local currency. Uh, we got a total of 13 Lempiras. If you know how much 13 Lempiras is, let us know in the comments right now. Yeah. You'd be surprised how much it is. Mm, YouTube's gonna like that money shot. After dark, so we stopped at Java Blue and they have um, like quick to go stuff for lunch, too. We found out so we got some beef and cheese empanadas and a chicken pie to try. I actually enjoyed it. The cheese empanada was really, really cheesy and good. Beef one, it was good, but it needed something else. It didn't have cheese in it, too. So. I think the beef one just needed cheese added to or it, or some kind of like sauce or something. Yep, I mean, it was good, but it wasn't as good as the cheese one. I think the Java Blue Quick Eats is definitely like a really good addition. I kind of wish that the other ships would get on that because I mean it's really nice to have a snack in the afternoon or the morning and stuff and not have to go up to the Lido deck and stuff. It's a good addition for sure. So we're sitting here at the Brass Magnolia. I got myself uh, another old fashioned. This one I got made with a uh, Devil's River. It's a coffee bourbon. Uh, Milan, the bartender, said that he's actually made it for himself before and he really enjoyed it. So Amanda's about to try my Devil's River's Cold... or Devil River, Devil's River Old Fashioned. It smells actually really good. It is it really smells good. really good. <laughs> it doesn't taste anything like it smells. It smells like delicious and fruity and then ugh, it tastes like wood. It doesn't taste anything like it wood. It tastes like if I were to like shave off some wood out of a barrel, no. sprinkle it, yeah, into some water and drink it. Ugh. That's so disgusting. I know you don't actually like this. You can tell it's a little loud right now. We're eating dinner next to center stage. We've got a little variety of things tonight. Empanadas, chipotle, pork wraps, and calzone. Calzone and a turkey sandwich. <laughs> and we've also got dinner entertainment in Grand Central Station. Thank you, Java Blue Cafe. So Amanda and I stopped at the buffet for a quick bite to eat before we decided to go see the residency here in uh, Grand Central. We got some pretty good seats uh, overlooking center stage uh, on deck seven. I would recommend getting here at least 45 to 50 minutes early. We're here about a half hour early and it's packed. We had to get creative to uh, get ourselves some seats here. pretty fun night. Uh, after we left you guys at the residency, we went and met up with Tim and Bridget at the Brass Magnolia, had a couple drinks, and uh, then after that we decided to go and watch Family Feud, which was absolutely awesome. I loved it. Yeah, I thought it was a really cool show. It's a really cool addition to the entertainment on Carnival. Um, you can't film anything, so we didn't get any footage of it, but uh, it was pretty cool. The family won by one point. Yeah. So... It was really fun. It is kind of sad that we can't show it to you guys, but you know, it makes you guys wonder what it's going to be like when you come on board. We just ordered a little bit of room service. We're going to eat that and probably head to bed, so we'll catch you guys tomorrow. If you've enjoyed what you've seen in this video, please leave us a comment down below and hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed, and have a good day. Bye, guys.